Okay, uh, welcome to my uh, little generalized hyperbolic transform demo. Um, I'm just going to start Cyril now. This is from um, my master tree. And just to show you the starting file, this is... Um, I actually didn't have many um, still unprocessed uh, master fits. Um, this is one I've um, prepared slightly. Uh, it was a drizzled file, so I've just downsampled it to make things a bit quicker. Um, it's of the Galaxy Cluster um, Abel uh, 2151 in Hercules. Um, looks basically the same as any linear fit tends to do at the start. Um, you can see if I put histogram on, there are, there's a bit of gradient there, but there's you can see where the, um, the galaxy cluster largely is just around here. So I'll just put that back to linear mode. What I'm actually going to start off doing is um, actually not using the uh, hyperbolic transformation. It's um, it's a little bit less in your face than the arcsine one, um, but I'm going to start off using pixel math, and I'm just going to add the file. There we are, and I'm going to do I1 to the power of 0.5, just a, sorry, I1 power of 0.5, um, just a simple square root um, stretch to start off with, nice and gentle, but it'll bring out the fainter areas more than the brighter ones, and it just gives a bit of a starting point. So after that, I'm going to switch to the uh, hyperbolic transformation and first of all well, let me just uh, set that back to user defined range um, first of all I'm going to start with a good strong uh, stretch and quite a tight one around the very faintest areas may as well bring that right up to 10 uh, and I just need to bring up the black point so that it isn't quite so burned out This is just a file I happen to have on hand to show you how it works. I, I gather it's um, a really effective set of stretches for stuff like planetary nebulas and things where there's a lot of contrast. But I'm going to try and bring out some of the faint structure of the galaxies from the contrast in the background. I'm just going to zoom in a bit so you can see the area of interest. There's a nice group of galaxies around there. so. Bring up the black point a little bit more. And for a first stretch, that'll do. Might as well bring the uh, hydrogen preservation point down quite a bit just to stop any stars burning out. It uh, isn't so noticeable at this stage, but it just helps a little bit. Apply that, and I'm going to apply another stretch. So the parameters of reset here and what I'm going to do before I... Um, it starts off with the stretch amount at zero which is essentially no stretch so I can just have a look at the um, statistics down there and this faint arm of the galaxy here is about 0.15 just double check that in RGB and it's, yeah, it's about 15% so I'm going to put the stretch focal point up to around about 0.15 and I'm going to start stretching. There we go, and you can see the structure start to pop out. Now it's less of a stretch intensity this time. As I bring the stretch intensity up, it focuses in on that structure. So again, I'm going to need to bring the black point up. And uh, you can see more structure coming out in some of these spiral galaxies here with um, the arms. You can begin to see those coming out. Um, maybe it doesn't look all that impressive, but these are really quite faint galaxies. Um, it took me quite a long time just using the basic stretches uh, to really bring out this amount of detail. So I'm, I'm quite happy. You can see the jet in uh, in this um, PGC galaxy here. Uh, it's nice to see. Um, and I'm going to apply a bit more, bring the 
black point up a bit more. Source data isn't amazing for this because I was really struggling with um, light leaks and gradients, but um, it's more about demonstrating the stretch, I guess. So you can see it's beginning to uh, retain all that detail. And um, I forgot where what the rough amount was, so 0.23. And this time I'm going to go a little bit higher and have a little bit less of an intense stretch. This one's not going to be much of a stretch at all. But it's just going to even out the histogram a bit. And a bit more black point. It, I've spent five minutes on this uh, and I could uh, probably do a little bit better, but it's just um, a quick little demo to show you roughly how the stretch works. Um, and as I say, it's it's not perfect source data, but I hope it um, serves as a bit of a, uh, a guide. Uh, so thank you for watching.